Hey guys, George here from MyNaturalHerniture.com and I wanted to do this video today because I was out here in the warehouse and I realized that I have never actually showed you guys the heavy duty comfort truss that we came out with. I did a video a long time ago about the minimalist comfort truss. The minimalist works for most people that use it, but a lot of people were getting in touch with us and saying it just didn't offer enough support because it was just, so, the fabric is just so thin that it, it just wasn't enough to hold their hernia and they needed something more substantial to put more pressure on the hernia so that it would hold it in for them. Uh, the minimalist belt I designed uh, because that's all I needed personally. I, just, I didn't really need very much pressure to hold my hernia in at all. So the three, I used a three millimeter fabric for the, for the minimalist, which is perfect for me. It turns out it was perfect for a lot of people out there. Uh, but there is a certain amount of people that just need more support. So we wanted to be able to accommodate them as well with the with the thicker fabric. Also, it makes it last, the belt lasts a lot longer. The minimalist, you know, because there's no edging sewn around the edge, they do need to be replaced every once in a while because they stretch to a point where they, you know, they, they just wear out over time. In case you haven't seen the minimalist yet, this is the minimalist belt. This is cut from a single piece of breathable neoprene. So there's, there's no, um, you know, seams holding anything together or anything like that. Uh, there's the pocket there, the leg strap. It's just one single piece, continuous piece of, of breathable neoprene. The inside is uh, nylon spandex. So it's super stretchy and really soft on the skin. There's the pad pocket, has a little opening there for the, um, there's a quarter inch pad that comes inside the belt. I don't know if you can see that. Um, that you could swap out that we actually have um, other pads that it's a, a 3 8 inch pad thick pad that goes in there and um, a half inch thick pad that goes in there as well in case you need more pressure you can put that in, in the pad in the pad pocket there this actually goes around your leg when you, when when you have it on the leg strap comes up through this slit from underneath right here and then it attaches to the side of the waist belt. And you can see that the whole outside of the belt is all the loop side of the Velcro. So when you have this on and you attach it to your waist, you know, when you attach it around your waist like that, you can basically attach this waist strap or the leg strap any place on the entire belt. You could put it all the way up over the pad like that if you wanted to. So it goes anywhere all the way along. The first minimalist truss that, that I started selling it didn't have this reinforced st uh, stitch around the outside. And a lot of times it's it's almost impossible to find a fabric that won't delaminate over time. The layers of fabric just start coming apart after a while. So um, so I added this zigzag stitch around the perimeter of the of the belt just to so that it, it, it doesn't delaminate over time. So that made it, you know, makes the belt last a lot longer. And that, that's pretty much it. That's, the, that's the, the minimalist belt. That's the double side belt. The left side belt right here. And the right side belt right there. And these are, that's all the minimalists. And then I have the HD belt, which is the new version, which is the one I've never done a video about this. So I figured, what the hell, I might as well. Um, seems silly not to let people know that I have this. Here's the HD version. And you can see that it's got edging sewn ar around the entire perimeter of the belt rather than just having a, a zigzag stitch so there's no raw edge. And, and this edging is super stretchy. And you can see the reinforcement stitch on the heavy duty is, uh, is called a cover stitch. And I don't know if you could see that on the video, but it's but it's a lot stronger than just a, a zigzag stitch from a single needle sewing machine. This is actually done with a with a three needle sewing machine that makes a cover stitch on the on the top and the bottom. So it's really reinforced. This this whole belt is really reinforced. Not only that, but the thickness of the belt itself. This is six millimeter breathable neoprene as opposed to three millimeter neoprene. Uh, on the minimalist version. The whole outside is is the loop of the Velcro. So you can, it's the same unlimited adjustability. You could stick the, the, uh, the Velcro parts anywhere on the entire belt. The pad pocket on the HD is actually wide open on the top to make it a little easier, a lot easier actually than the minimalist. The minimalist is a little bit tough to get a half inch pad into the pocket. 
um, which I did that by design on the middle on the minimalist. I had to close the top of the of the pocket a, a bit so that the the pad doesn't slide out while you're doing activities because if this was wide open it would just pop out the top as you're moving around. So I had to close it up, which makes it a little bit harder to get the pad inside that pocket. You just have to fold it in half and, and work it in there a little bit. With the HD, I wasn't so worried about it being bulky. So I, I made it straight across, you know, wide open on the top. And it actually has a Velcro flap that folds down over top of the, of the pad and actually secures the pad into the pocket. So there's no way that, it, that it's ever gonna pop out of there because it's actually, it's actually closed up with, with a Velcro flap. It's tough to see because everything's black, but. The same nylon layer on the inside is super soft and comfy. Material is completely breathable. You know, it doesn't make you sweat. If, you had, if it was regular neoprene, as soon as you put it on, within about five minutes, you'd be dripping sweat through your pants because it, neoprene is so hot against the skin. This is completely breathable. It doesn't make you sweat at all. Now, when you, if you're doing something where you are sweating, it's going to absorb the sweat, so it will get wet, but it's not going to cause you to sweat when you have a, when you're outside. You can see the leg slit uh, is, is the same on both, the same on the HD as it is on the minimalist. Uh, it's reinforced with a with a stitch right there on both sides, so that way you know when you put the the leg strap through and you're pulling on it, it's not going to rip that that slit at all. And I have this is the package for the for the right side, and I also have left the left side heavy duty, and we also have a double double side heavy duty. So. Any type of hernia that you got, you got you covered. And I do have pads also for, there's a, uh, this one's a 3 8 inch thick pad that swaps out the quarter inch pad that, it, that the belt comes with, goes in the pocket. And <clears throat> a half inch pad for the double as well. And then there's also a T-strap and all these accessories work on both belts, the minimalist or the HD, the T-strap is what you would put on the front of the belt. You can see in the picture there, you, it goes down on the, on the leg strap just a bit and across the whole front of the belt, almost from basically from hip to hip. And what that does is it takes all the stretch out of the front of the belt. So when you're doing something more strenuous and you don't want the belt to have any give at all, that uh, T-strap takes all the give out of the front of the belt and won't let it stretch at all. And I have those for the double and the left side as well. Here's one for the, the double side belt. And here's one for the left side belt. And like I said, these, the accessories work on, on both models. Also, a little bit of news. We are in the process of bringing manufacturing back to the US. We're gonna do it in-house. When I first designed this and, and started selling them, I had a manufacturer lined up that was in the US. It, we're dealing with nothing with problems with them. It was a terrible experience with lead times, and quality issues, and, and customer service, you name it, it was an issue. It was just nothing but problems. So we ended up, we were in the process of finding, trying to find a new manufacturer. <clears throat> and then COVID hit and that manufacturer that we had in the US, they couldn't even take orders from private customers anymore because they were mandated by the government to only do PPE for the for the US government. So really we're we're really in a tight spot and you know the the demand for these things is really high because they're so comfortable that uh, we just couldn't keep them in stock. So we ended up going to a manufacturer in Pakistan which was just the amount of same amount of problems that I was dealing with with the US manufacturer except now I was dealing with somebody that didn't speak my language and they were across the world from me. So um, it's been a huge headache and I finally just decided, you know what, I'm just going to do this myself and I'm going to, you know, uh, I'm just going to move the factory in-house. So I'm setting that up right now, getting all the machines in place, um, doing all my sourcing, getting things figured out. And uh, within the next two months, I'll have a production line set up here in my own warehouse and I'll have, you know, complete control over what's going on. And bringing the manufacturing in-house 
will allow me to do things like limited runs of um, you know different styles of belts. Like the one that I that the one that I personally used when I first designed the Comfort Trust was a lot different than the one that I sell now, just based on customer feedback. But there might be people that would like you know the one that I originally used that that looked a little bit different than this. It was even more streamlined than this. Um, and I could do that as a limited edition type run thing for, you know, if, if there's people out there that want that. Also, it'll make it super easy to implement fast changes. So like the way that it was before, if I wanted to change something, like the one time when I first had the minimalist belt, this pocket was sewn shut. You didn't have the ability to swap out the pads with different thicknesses of pads. That was sewn shut. And when I, when I changed that, that one little design, you would think that that would be super easy to just be able to tell the factory, okay, hey, I just wanna leave the pad pocket open an inch and a half on the top. <laughs> I don't want it to be sewn all the way across, just leave it, a leave it an inch and a half on the top, put a re reinforcement stitch on the sides of it. it. That should be really, really easy. But, oh my God, when I did that, it was like all hell broke loose and like they didn't know what to do with themselves. We got a whole shipment, boxes and boxes of, of hernia belts that all got sent to us with the pad pocket sewn in the wrong spot because when I made that change. And we, we had to go through every one of them, one by one by one to see how many of them actually had it. It was like 90% of them had, um, had the pad pocket sewn in the wrong spot. So we ended up having to send them back. They had to remove all the pad pockets and resew everything. And it was a huge nightmare, just a little thing like that. So having the factory in-house where if I get an idea or somebody you know, shoots me an email and says, hey, what about this? I think this might be a good idea. I can go out there and I can try one and I can say, hell yeah, that's a good idea. That's it from now on, we're doing it this way and just change it that fast. Once I get the manufacturing set up in-house, it's gonna be so much better. Yes, it's gonna be more expensive for, you know, to, to pay labor and things like that at doing it in the US, but it, it, I'm here to, to provide a good product for you guys. And, you know, that's what it's always been about for me. I could, if, if it wasn't, I could have stayed, you know, I had a business before this where I was the manufacturer of the product that I was making. I could have stayed in that business forever and been doing perfectly fine financially. I wouldn't have had to change anything but there was nothing in it for me. With this, I feel like I'm actually helping people. Um, you know, I'm providing people, their, I'm giving people their life back with this thing. And I get reviews all the time. People write me emails, how much they, they appreciate this little thing right here that I designed. So it means so much to me to be able to do that for you guys. That uh, I'm just, I'm super excited about bringing it back to the US and bringing it in the house and, and actually, you know, being able to do all this stuff. So yeah, so super excited for that. That should be set up in the next couple of months. And uh, I'll be sending out emails and things like that about, uh, about that when, when all that happens. So if you'd like to get one of these, either whether the, it's the minimalist or the HD version, the heavy duty, you could go to my website, comfort-trust.com. Right now, actually the HDs are on sale for 20% off. It depends on when you see this video. They might not be when you go there by the time you see this video, but right now at the time of filming this video, they're actually on sale for about 20% off. So um, so yeah, so take a look at them on the website and uh, read some of the customer reviews, which get awesome customer reviews. Yeah, so that's it guys. I just wanted to kind of run through the HD with you really and um, let you know that it was out there in case you have used the minimalist one in the past and it wasn't enough support for you then just know that you know the hd is where it's at if you need some more support or you need to get more longevity out of the belt <clears throat> than what the minimalist would allow um then you know this is this is the one that you need